Merry Winter Veil vale, guys, it's Lon Measley and in this video I'm going to be quickly covering some gold making tips as well as item collection for Winter Veil. Vale. First, as was the case with previous years, you can do the You're a Mean One daily quest in the Hillsbrad Foothills for a chance at some cool vanity items. Some of the rewards that can be sold for a decent amount are the miniature Winter Veil vale tree transmog dagger, the lumpy and rotten little helper pets, as well as the cushion toys. And to add even more value to your runs, you can visit several vendors across the Hillsbrad foothills, starting with this guy on the map right here who sells the frost oil recipe, which is actually useful for killing the Demidos boss in AQ40 for a pet drop. Next, heading east to Dernhold Keep, there's another vendor that sells some limited quantity transmog. More specifically, Chris Legace here sells 3 sets of pants and three bracers, but I only recommend buying and selling the pants as bracers don't really show up on your character. After that, you can head north to Ravenhold Manor, go inside the building and go up the stairs to find a guy that sells the schematics for the gnomish cloaking device. This is also a limited supply recipe and probably is quite useful as well. If and only if you're Horde, you can go to South Point Gate on the west over here and go to this vendor to buy some weapon mods. Even better, if you head east to Terran Mill and talk to this vendor right here called OTT, he sells the same weapon mods and even more limited quantity transmog. Finally, after finishing your route, you can go back to your respective capital city to turn in your quest. Now, only for the first time per character per Winter Veil, vale, you get a follow-up quest that rewards you with another special gift that presumably has a higher chance of containing the rare weapon illusions, the winter scraps, and the flames of Ragnaros. Yes, they can also be obtained with the normal stolen presents from the daily quests, but the odds seem to be much higher with the special gift. The special gift also offers some unique recipes for transmog and a toy. Since you can only get one special gift per character per winter veil, vale, although I haven't tested it, you should be able to make multiple attempts with trial characters. Besides all the rewards you get from these quests, there are also some patterns you can buy from the vendors in your capital city. Namely, the patterns for the green winter clothes, red winter clothes, and winter boots. The first two of which can be crafted by tailors and the boots can be crafted by leather workers are worth mentioning because they are actually used for the achievement Tis the Season, which is part of the Merrymaker achievement, which is then part of the overall achievement to get the Violet Proto Drake. And to complete the achievement, you'll need to wear 3 pieces of winter clothes, 2 of which can be crafted right here, and as such, they'll see some demand on the auction house. By the way, if you actually want to do the achievement, you'll also have to collect the hat from one of these bosses. In terms of BFA content, you can get one from Raw the Gluttonous in Waycrest Manor, or from the Fetid Devourer in Old Deer. Alternatively, you can just solo some of the Legion dungeons. Next up, I'll briefly talk about the Draenor Garrison daily quests. Note that with the removal of the Elixir of the Rapid Mind EXP potion from the reward cache, doing these quests are not nearly as profitable as before. That said, the items that still drop that are of value are the Medallion of the Legion which gives you rep with the WAD factions, which is in demand for the achievement to unlock flying on Draenor. And another item that drops, although very rarely, is the Minion of Grumpus Mount, which is actually very valuable. With the quest tokens, you can alternatively purchase decorations for your garrison, one of which includes a Winter Wonder Vault which transforms your character into a gnome. And you can also buy the Crash and Thrash and Kill Dozer controller, which is a bind on used toy that you can also sell. Another way to play Winter Veil vale is to invest in some of these items that are going to see an increase in supply with the daily quest becoming available again. For example, if you look at the minion of Grumpus Mount here, you can see that the prices have slowly but steadily increased over the past year. But you might also want to be a little bit careful because a lot of this price increase has to also do with the inflation that happened during Legion. But as long as Blizzard doesn't implement changes to make gold even more scarce, the prices of these mounts should hold pretty strong. After Winter Veil ends, of course. Now, as for other things you can do and items you can collect still in Draenor, around the questing area, you'll be able to find lots of snow piles scattered all around, and these snow piles have a chance of containing the Grumpling Pet, which can also be an okay farm and potential investment. Next, there are some other rewards that are not associated with Winter Veil, vale, but that you can collect while you're in Frostfire Ridge. 
First, we have the pretty Draenor Pearl, which can be fished up from this pool right here. And this is a toy that can be collected once per character and can be also sold on the auction house. And apparently it commands a pretty decent price as a lot of people probably don't know about it. And finally, while still in Frostfire Ridge, you can fly west here to confront Nock Garage, which has a guaranteed chance of dropping the Garn Night Howl mount and can actually be killed repeatedly. But since it's probably not worth your time to wait for him to respawn, you can just swing by after doing your daily quest Kill him once, collect the mount, and earn a couple of thousand easy gold that way. And that is all for my video. I hope you guys all have a fun winter veil and a wonderful Christmas. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this. Anyhow, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.